In this video, I'm going to teach you how to extract multiple features from two different date variables visually using visually using Excel. So let's get started. Now I have with me ID target two binary variables, two nominal, one nominal variable, one ordinal variable, and two date variables. And for this example, I'm just going to take out the two date variables and extract multiple features using these two variables so let's look at some of the features that we can create using two different date variables now for now for our example sake i've also used another column called today which is using a today function it will give you a today's date and so if you have a single date you can definitely combine it with a today date you can combine it with today and you will have two different dates to work with and the logic that i'm going to apply for using these two and the logic that i'm going to use by using these two dates it's going to be the same as what you're going to be working with in terms of these two variables or these two variables so let's see what all we can extract from these two dates the first thing that we can extract is the day difference how many days are there between date one and date two and we can simply do this by saying date one minus we can simply do this by saying date two we can simply do this by saying is equal to date two minus date one now i get the number of days directly how is this coming in the background now note you might be wondering how this particular number is coming for for this particular number to come you need to know that these two should be in date format if they're in text format you will not get this number how do we know these two are in date format i can go to the format cells option and choose general and you'll see that it is having a serial number here right so that way I know this is date and within Python or R you'll have to convert an object variable text variable to date format to be able to get this particular example working. So I'm going to just say okay for this particular example and as you can see it is one number minus another number and that's how you get the date difference. So the first feature is really easy you can simply extract the difference and you will uh, sorry you can copy this one you can copy this and now apply it for rest of the rows i'm going to say pay special formula and now within these two dates i get the date difference now the other way of looking at the number of days between two dates is considering only the working days between them that is if there are one not nine days between these two dates and if we removed all the weekends then this is the number that we are looking for and this is one feature that can easily be extracted using excel using the network days function so network days you're going to give the start date comma end date and if you have any holidays that fall between them you can give a list of those dates and it will happily exclude it but for this example, I'm just going to take this start date and end date and I'm going to show you this example because we're just learning how to extract dates, uh, features from two dates. So I have 78 between these two, 78 working days between these two dates. So I'm going to copy that and paste special formulas. So this way I get the number of working days between each of these dates and notice it will be always less than the day difference that we have. Now, extending this particular example, now that we have the working days between the, these two dates, if you wanted the weekends between these two dates, it's going to be the difference between day difference and working day. So it's going to be simply day difference minus working days. And this will give you the number of weekends between two dates. <coughs> next 
we have now an example to get the month difference now there is an issue with month different and i'm going to show you what that issue is so first let's let's get the months for both this date and let's subtract it right so i'm going to say month of date two minus month of date one notice it gives minus one because march 2022 minus december 2021 should ideally give me two or three months difference right three or four months difference but it's giving you minus one because if you only consider the month right we are getting this one as three and we are getting this as 12 because december is represented by 12 and march is represented by three which is going to give us negative values and so month difference uh, cannot be extracted by just simply extracting the month from these two dates right so there is definitely a hidden function within excel that helps us do this and within r and python you have direct functions that help you do it but within excel this particular function doesn't really come up when you start typing it and that is basically a date diff function so it's going to be like this date diff now it doesn't come up and show you what are the arguments within it right but the date diff within excel has two different arguments that is the start date end date and third argument by which method you want the difference between that two dates right so if i pick the start date comma the end date so if i pick the start date comma end date and now i can say i want the difference of months between these two dates so i'm going to say m within quotation so this will now give me how many months difference is there between the start date and end date and if i say enter you'll notice i get three so between december to march there are there is a three months difference and if i copy this formula and paste it down you're going to see that i'm going to get the number of months difference between these two dates and it's 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 coming exactly the way we wanted it similarly if you want the year difference you can just use this particular function here and replace m with y and i'm going to copy this and say paste special formulas and as you can see between 19 and 21 there is one year difference and that's why you are getting this one year difference now this is a very now this is a very cool trick to basically extract the month and year difference and please note that you cannot really extract the year difference or month difference by simply removing the year part or the month part and are doing the difference because it's going to give you negative values if there is uh, if there are values that uh, don't coincide with what it's looking like right so that's two more features that you extract from two different dates and um, now we're going to extend this to a little more advanced um, features and that is the year month difference so first let's implement it using the same date diff function and see what the output looks like so i'm going to say y and m and say okay and copy and paste formulas here now you'll see that typically the difference the month difference is giving you same for this particular example and this particular example however within this particular example you'll see a difference right so it says 19 months between these two dates and within this particular year month different it says only seven months so how does this occur this occurs by ignoring day and year within this calculation so if i had to ignore day and year from this particular calculation the difference will be purely between november to july right so from november to july there is seven months difference that's what this meaning is right now again this is again an advanced way of getting a particular feature but this is again helpful feature just to get um, you know the month difference between that two dates 
uh, not considering the day and the year and similarly we can create another feature uh, from this using this it's called the year date difference year day difference and this is how it's going to be looking like if i copy it and paste special formulas you will see it's almost same to i mean the first example will be similar uh, because it's like 2021 and 2022 but if you'll see the difference will come between 19 and 21 right so if it is if, if there are 583 days between these two dates you will see it's nearly 218 days uh, difference right so the year is ignored which means the 19 part is ignored and the number of days is calculated that is 30th november to 5th july ignoring this date and that is the number of days that you get and so this will be a slightly little different data to work with but nonetheless this is few features that you can definitely use in your ml model to see if it uh, important and gives you some value in predicting your um, outcome variable the target variable so this is how you use two different dates to extract new features and use them in your ml models visually using excel now if you like this video i'm sure you're going to enjoy the same video that i'm create i'm creating for python and r links of which are placed in the comment section and um, thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel